Hello and welcome to Dragon Travel. So this is our first episode here of this Disney trip. We just checked into the Hilton Orlando Lake Buena Vista, which you see behind me. Uh, we are so excited to get this trip started. We're excited to try this hotel. It's our first time staying here. And we're excited to be just across the street from Disney Springs, which is where we're headed now. We actually haven't even had breakfast today. It's 9.40 a.m. The hotel was amazing. They let us check in even though we were super early. Um, so, so far this hotel has been awesome. Um, we took Mears Connect to get here, which I'm going to have a separate complete uh, review video for that coming. So definitely check that out on the channel coming up soon. And for now, we're going to head over to Disney Springs, get something to eat and explore. So stay with us for more fun from Disney Springs today. Everglaze Donuts was our first stop. That donut was awesome, delicious. A lot though, it was hard to eat, finish it by myself to be completely honest with you, but I did because I was starving. But I also do have the cold brew. This was the vanilla hazelnut and that was the almond uh, mounds explosion, I think they called it, donut. Really good, it came to $13 for both things. Um, there were a few things that were not tree nut friendly, so my wife didn't get anything there she instead chose to have something over here at from starbucks you know that's what, that's that's her thing um nothing exciting over there <laughs> uh, as she gives me a face um but the everglaze was really good um i don't know that i would go back to the cold brew i feel like i've had the gideon's cold brew in the past that was that i feel like was better um and then of course you know uh, Joffrey's also has some really great cold brew options so there's definitely other choices and from our hotel uh, Everglades is all the way on the other side of Disney Springs so it's it's not close it's a, it's a hike compared to Joffrey's or Gideon's so don't know if I'll be going back during this trip but it was good I was excited to try it out so up next we're gonna be figuring out something for more sustenance like a real meal uh, in a little while so we'll be back in a little bit Okay, so we just finished lunch at the Polite Pig, which was amazing. We've eaten there before, but this is the first time we got both got the fried chicken sandwich. It was awesome, so good. Very messy, so if you're not prepared for a messy meal, don't go with that. But they do give you a little moist towelettes to clean your hands off, uh, but it was really good. What did you think? Oh, I thought it was awesome. And they also, if you have a Disney credit card, they do honor a discount too. So if you bring that up at the register, yes. they'll give you that discount. The 10% Disney Visa discount, which is awesome. I also had the awesome grapefruit margarita, which we both tried. It was really good. Really not too sweet. You know, you definitely had that tequila taste to kind of cut the sweetness on it. So I really enjoyed that as well. So that's also an awesome thing to recommend. Now we're just going to hang around waiting for our Gideon's uh, mobile return time. So keep you posted on that and we'll be back in a little bit.
got through a nice nap, relaxing in the room for a little while. Like I said earlier, we had a really early flight this morning. Our flight was actually 5 a.m. We landed at 7.45 a.m. So we were up at like 1.45. So came back to the room. That's the awesome part of stay about staying at this hotel. We're right across the street from Disney Springs. So we're gonna be heading back over there now for an early dinner reservation at the boathouse. Really excited about that. We love the boathouse. And then we're going to call it an early night to get ready for our Animal Kingdom morning tomorrow with early morning entry or uh, early or morning extra magic hours, whatever they're called now. <laughs> it opens at 730 tomorrow, so it's going to be an early morning tomorrow. Okay, so off to the boathouse. <music> Okay, we're just back from the boathouse. That's gonna be a separate dining review on the channel, so keep an eye out for that. But now we're gonna go check out the pool. We're really excited. It seems like it's awesome. So check out some footage from that and we'll see you later. Okay, back in the room after the pool, and now we're gonna head down and check out some of the amenities that come with this hotel, including the fact that they do include these coupons as part of your resort fee. They entitle you to either a bottle of water or a 16 ounce regular cup of Starbucks coffee. So I'm gonna go get a coffee, try that out, see how that system works, and I'll let you know later in the video. And we're also gonna wander by the bar, see what the menu's like down there, and we'll report back on that as well. So see you in a little bit. Okay, everybody. So we did acquire coffee using that coupon. It, the system was super easy. You just give the co coupon to the people at the counter and then you have a self-serve coffee spot. The coffee is good, it's Starbucks coffee. So for included with what you're paying for your resort fee and that resort fee is waived if you book through Costco. So basically free for us since we booked through Costco. Definitely a great perk makes it easy in the morning to have a cup of coffee and not have to worry about waiting that super long Starbucks line in Magic Kingdom or wherever you are. We did check out the cocktail menu at the bar. It was a little pricey. We really weren't in the mood for anything anyway, but wanted to check it out. The pool bar menu was a little bit cheaper, um, so maybe we'll be trying that out at some point later in the week. But I think we're gonna call it a night. Getting up at 1.45 a.m. this morning, we're tired, so we're gonna wrap it up a little bit early and Animal Kingdom tomorrow. So stay tuned to the channel for that. Remember to like and subscribe for more content like this. Have a great night.